many of you probably thought the parking garage was the craziest racism fun could get as far as track features, but now you behold this four-turn corkscrew in front of us as uh, we have another 1v1 set of McLarens versus Bugattis. Definitely an interesting development in the races and fun track feature area. Bugatti and McLaren. The McLaren on the left, Bugatti on the right. They start out in two separate lanes and then they hit into that corkscrew, which is an open track. Collisions will abound, and if cars are close enough, we might see some cars fly off the track. Right now, the McLaren comes across in the first race to take it. And I'm curious to see how the corkscrew will be on some of these cars, necessarily, when they start to collide. We end, of course, with the 180-degree hairpin that comes back along a long straight for some racing there at the end. Bugatti and McLaren. McLaren again with the spoiler on the back of the black car on the near side. And so this is a new feature for these cars. And this time the Bugatti really has got the speed out of the first sector. He is already a few turns ahead through the corkscrew coming down the lane. Dodges a little bit left. And he will roll easily towards the end. McLaren finally coming in, at least a show of sportsmanship as she pulls up uh, to the left side there. No uh, no extra nudges there past the finish line. Oh, look at that distance. Oof. Oh, some kind of mistake the McLaren made right there. Bugatti McLaren. McLaren the blue car. Bugatti the black. And Bugatti rolls out into the lead a full couple of lengths now through the first sector and faster out of the 180 as well. Here they go into the corkscrew. And so is Bugatti by a couple turns. They got the final sector to come up though. Bugatti still fast. Ooh, very smooth through that 180. And he's got no problem putting that race away. McLaren again, coming up a little short. But the McLaren, uh, they got a race. They won the first one. So they're not completely out of it quite yet. Again, a large separation between the two. You got him, McLaren again. McLaren this time, no spoiler. On the near side here, that bright blue. And they're about neck and neck this time through the first sector. We've got falling a little bit behind, but not by much. He's gaining, he's got acceleration, and they are close to each other here in the clutch. There maybe even a collision. No, McLaren up by three lengths, and look at the speed at the end there, almost ran off the camera. And Bugatti had a little struggle getting out of the corkscrew and staying in control. And while they were both fast, that one McLaren definitely burned rubber right there. McLaren, Bugatti, this time yellow. There we go. Down the straight they go. And McLaren on the near side. Now on the far side. Ooh, lost speed to that 180. You can see the Bugatti really roll out there. But they are neck and neck. There's a collision. Not very hard collision, but still a couple there. They head around the last 180. McLaren find a, trying, uh, trying to find open space, but cannot. Uh, just like I couldn't find the right words there. And uh, he just trailed the Bugatti for the rest of that. Bugatti, McLaren. McLaren here on the near side, that purplish blue, darker blue car. And Bugatti, well, you can tell that this one is not a good race for this particular Bugatti who cannot find any traction on the track right now and, well, not even hit the hairpin yet as a McLaren already puts this race into the books. Bugatti. Strolls across at uh, 20 miles an hour. <clears throat> and that's probably the speed at which he'll be driving home today. Ooh, a tough turn right there as well. Lost a little control, but didn't lose all of it. Bugatti, McLaren, here we go. Gold and, I guess, silver. Silver and gold. McLaren. Into the early lead by a couple of lengths. Bugatti's have been struggling of late, and this one's going to be no exception. McLaren's just got all the speed right now. 
Again, as they head out of the final straight. Look at the separation. There is no chance for that Bugatti. Ooh, we did come. <laughs> Man, they cars out there are always trying to find a way to uh, make me nervous. I said there's no chance, but actually a real burst of speed there at the end. He still was a few lengths short, but uh, a lot closer than I expected. Green and red. Red being the McLaren. Green the Bugatti. And ooh, the Bugatti getting off to a good start here in the first straight around the 180. And they're about neck and neck. And the Bugatti starts to run away again. McLaren looks like he got caught on something or something. But all his speed went away. But he's got right back up. There's a collision there on the corkscrew. No cards do fall off. And the Bugatti's got the final length to go here. McLaren dodging to the right side. He's got in front and he's got the win. <coughs> What a strong way to finish right there. Bugatti did not prepare for the final straight as he should have. He should have dodged inside, put on some defensive maneuvers, but he lost control and ended up attached to that right embankment. But uh, it's tied between the two teams into the next round. McLaren, Bugatti this time. McLaren on the left side here. And this is the McLaren we saw really, really turn on the Jets in the previous race and he's doing it again once now remember this particular Bugatti is actually uh, pretty fast as he made it all the way into race two uh, the next round and this McLaren still I mean I don't even know where the other Bugatti is that is quite the show of speed there definitely gonna expect to see this particular car in the finals and this other Bugatti just pulled up a few track lengths before and was like I'm done Oh, tough out of the corkscrew as well, for sure. Lost a little control. Man, look at this McLaren. One of the fastest cars I've ever seen here at Races and Fun. McLaren Bugatti. McLaren with the spoiler on the left, Bugatti. Black car, no spoiler on the right here, on the near side. Ooh, started out in the lead, now loses it back in front to the 180. Now it starts to slip away again. Here they go to the fourth screw, they're pretty evenly matched, and they're right on top of each other. Through the third turn, now the fourth one. Here's the final sector. McLaren starts to pull away. Now the hairpin and the Bugatti's right on his tail. Can he find open space on the left? No, he has no speed. And that will end that race in the favor of the McLaren. And you saw this, uh, this lack of speed in the last straight for this Bugatti. He had an open spot for a while there. He just couldn't move. McLaren, Bugatti. At this point, do I even need to say it? McLaren on the near side, Bugatti on the far. Started out behind, now back in front. They are about neck and neck out of the hairpin. But here goes the Bugatti trying to stretch away. The corkscrew equalizes the two vehicles. And they're pretty close to each other heading into sector three. Bugatti trying to pull away. McLaren on the far side to the right side. Can't get around. Ends up drafting too little too long. And that will be the end of this McLaren's run here in today's race. McLaren, Bugatti. Purple. And, uh... Now yeah, pretty even match as well. McLaren trying to push there. Yeah, there he goes. Pushing out of the near side there. Well through the 180, as we saw in the previous race. And he's got all the separation right now. Camera can't even keep up with him. And there you have it. I mean, as soon as I saw him leave the corkscrew, I knew he had this race. It's going to be interesting to see this. McLaren against the light blue one if they do make it to the finals as well. McLaren three, Bugatti with one. And here comes the semis. McLaren, Bugatti. Well, I guess we'll see that semifinal face off on those two really high speed racers in the semifinals. Heading around that hairpin, the Bugatti starts to pull away. McLaren is still on the tail, though. It's not over for him yet. Can he recover here in the final sector? Mmm, the separation is big. Bugatti has got it to the end. And the McLaren pulls up right beside him on the left. Not that far behind. Just lost it to the corkscrew. Probably a momentum shift at the collision. 
And we got the two cars we've all been waiting to see. Similar car body shapes, different colors, both extremely fast. And the purple one unexpectedly burning up more rubber here in the first sector. Way faster than the blue. Where is the speed on this light blue McLaren? Well, maybe he'll come here in the final sector, but he doesn't have much time. Ooh, that's just brutal. As that purple McLaren almost breaks down the track with his speed. See the wiggle there on the corkscrew. And he zigzags his way through the finish line. We head to the finals. You know how it is. Best two out of three to decide the champion. And let's see how this one goes. I don't know. I was not expecting these two to be the two in the finals, but here we are, and they look to be pretty even here coming out of the first hairpin. Actually, the Bugatti had that lead for a second, but it's back to a very close race into the corkscrew. Purple McLaren trying to run away with it. You know that speed he blasts out with in the final corkscrew. Bugatti on the right side, but can't get around. They're too even in speed. And out of that corkscrew, because the Purple McLaren was in front, well, he had it. They do change lanes, and that purple McLaren starts out early in the lead. Ooh, and still has it towards the corkscrew. This is going to be hard for the Bugatti. He's slow through the first few turns, and even slower. And speeding up is the McLaren. He does lose some control out of the turns, but is able to maintain speed, and he's got the win. Bugatti started out badly in this second lap, and, well... He wasn't far behind, but it was that start that did him in. That led the uh, Purple McLaren, the winner of today's race, winning it for the McLaren team and for himself. And that will do it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.